Hello everyone, I am Maris and today we are discussing the DLC pre-order leak. And I say that in quotations because we don't really know if this is a leak. There was a post to Reddit on June 23rd describing a list that could potentially include DLC and pre-order items. The post even included how to see the list yourself, but as of June 24th, the list was removed and no longer visible. However, the main things I want to talk about today are the possible gameplay features that this leak, if true, would confirm for us. I'm not going to go over everything on the list, just the DLC items. I'll link some other YouTubers that have gone over the entire list already in the description. So let's get into it. Let's start with number one, the Thestral Mount. I could have sworn that this was already a confirmed thing in Hogwarts Legacy. I have a vague memory of seeing a character on a Thestral Mount flying towards the castle, but I cannot find it anywhere. So maybe it was just a dream or wishful thinking. A mind is truly a terrible thing to lose. But if this is a confirmed item for the DLC, could it be a different skin or customization for the Thestrals, or just something to have as soon as we start the game? In which case, is it just gonna chill in our house common room until we unlock the Room of Requirement or the Terrarium? Either way, this would confirm what I apparently already thought was confirmed, that Thestrials are going to be a riding option for us in Hogwarts Legacy, and would open the possibility of other mounts that we could ride other than the Hippogriff. I know flying is the fastest way to get around, but I would love to see some ground mounts too. It would make exploring the world a little faster without just flying over everything. I'm going to group the next three things on the list together because they have the same theme, the Dark Arts. Specifically, the Dark Arts Cosmetic Pack, the Dark Arts Battle Arena, and the Dark Arts Garrison Hat. I'm not sure why the Garrison Hat is not included in the Cosmetic Pack, unless the Cosmetic Pack is more of a robe with hood and skull mask design, in which case, yes please, and would make more sense to have a separate hat option. The Dark Arts Battle Arena is truly a mystery though. It could be more of a gloom and doom cosmetic option for when we're practicing our spells, but no one really knows. These items would confirm that we will have the chance to master the dark arts, possibly, or at the very least, dress the part. It would absolutely increase the replay value of the game though. Being able to choose dark arts over light magic options, especially if the environment and NPCs around you interact with you differently. You would get to experience the world in a different way. Now this news of a possible leaked DLC is exciting, but context is very important. The things that were listed might have been something planned for the original release back in 2021, or might not have even been a thing at all. We definitely need to take leaks with a grain of salt, but I absolutely think that they will offer some sort of pre-order deluxe version, or DLC incentives to buy the game early. I really think that next month will bring even more news, or maybe that is just wishful thinking. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching.